Hey everybody, this isn't a video that I would normally make. I'm just making this video in case later on when I put up another video somebody says, well I wish you would have showed us how you cut up a chicken for that. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm cutting up six of my chickens that we had processed so that I can cook them in my pressure canner and can them tomorrow or the next day. So these are pretty big chickens and I'll just go through quick and show you how I do it. First, I take off the legs and the thighs and you just cut through the skin and then that just, <laughs> it's a tough chicken, and you just pop that back and you can see that, well, no you can't, no yeah, maybe you can see. You just pull that leg back and when that knuckle pops out, that's where you want to be. And you just take your knife and you cut right along the back where it meets the backbone. And I'll do the other one. And I find that if you hold the chicken up like this, um, it makes it easier to cut through the skin. You can actually see more what you're doing. Pop the knuckle out and then cut along the backbone. And there's your legs and thighs. Then your um, your wing here. I don't really have a special way I do this. I just kind of cut around it, and it really just comes out by itself. You don't even have to pull or fight with it. Just cut around that knuckle, and it it really pops right out. So there's that. Then this is the neck here, and what I do with that is I just cut through the fat, of course it's backwards for me, just cut through the fat, cut down on either side of the neck, and then I just kind of pop it, cut through, and then here's the back, I just cut through the skin here, pop that back, and cut it off. There's your back. And then the breast. And the reason I'm doing this is I am, um, I just want my breast meat to can separately. So I'm just um, basically deboning the breast. And I'm going to cut that up and can it for uh, sandwiches or something. This comes off pretty easy too. You just really hold the skin up and it comes right off in one piece. And then this is the part that um, I think a lot of people have trouble with. This bone that comes down here, I just cut down either side of it. You make a little slit on either side of it. And then it's, it's really very simple. You just kind of follow that cartilage and you just cut down along with the cartilage. And then on this end where the wishbone is, let me get that fat off of there, I just cut along the wishbone and then if you just gently cut right next to it, you can get almost all that meat away from that wishbone and then I run my knife underneath. It just makes it a little bit easier to get that meat off of there. And then you just keep following down, cut along that cartilage, and there's little bones there. Just follow down along there. And again, a lot of times it's, it's really easier to hold it up, and that's the first breast off. You just do the same thing on the other side, cut along wishbone. This, this is not my good side, by the way. Oh wow, this wishbone broke. There we go. I wonder I couldn't cut along it. All right, and then we just are gonna go down. And this, um, I'm not worried about if I don't get every little speck of meat off of here because I'm gonna be cooking these bones. So I'm gonna get the meat. It, it just won't all 
be particularly on the breast, but it really doesn't leave much meat behind. So there's the other breast. And you can see there's a little bit of meat on there, but that's fine because I'm going to cook that meat off of there. So that's it. First chicken is all ready. So now I'll show you what I do with these. These, these are very big and very fatty chickens. These were the Freedom Rangers, and I just can't believe the amount of fat on them. And I am de-skinning them because um, even with taking the skin off, there's still a lot of fat on these. I'm going to pull that down and cut it off. Sometimes I can pull the whole thing off. And here's some of that icky gooey stuff. Let me get some of this fat off so I can show you. All right. You can see on the um, chicken leg that the difference of the muscle of the leg and the thigh. So I just take my knife and I cut really almost around that chicken leg. And then you pop it in between the knuckles and just cut it. And then do the other one. And um, like I said, there's no special way I'm doing this. I'm just trying to get most of the skin off and get some of the deboning done so that I can get this canned because I'm running out of room in my freezer. Okay. So there's your leg and your thigh. All right, now I'm going to show you what I do. I'm putting the legs, and the breastbone, and the wings in the canner, and I'm going to do six of them. And that's all that's going to fit in my canner. But one way I have found is that if you tuck the pieces in together, you can fit more. Let me get some of this fat off of here. All right, and what I do is I take this breastbone. I can't stop with the fat. And then if you take it like this, you stick your leg down in there, and you can stick it through the hole. And then I put the other one in the other way. And then you can tuck a wing in there. And that's a nice package, and it, it saves room in the canner. Um, <laughs> there's some little feathers. It saves room in the canner and you can fit more in because you don't have all these empty holes. So, so um, that's how I'm cutting up my chickens for this. Um, there's one wing left and that, that will just go on the top of the canner. So, And, um, and then that the breasts, you'll have two breasts, and I'll trim the fat off of them, and those are going to get canned separately. And then the thighs, um, I'll show you real quick how I bone them. And uh, again, I, I'm not a professional butcher. I just cut along the bone at the, let me show you. This is the outside of the thigh, and this is the inside of the thigh. If you look there, you can see a division of two pieces of muscle. Just cut along that down to the bone. And then I just cut along, cut around the knuckles. And then once you get so far, you can just take your knife under. And that bone is also going to go into the pressure canner with the other bones to get the meat cooked off. And then on these, I just kind of trim off, trim off whatever fat I can. And then you can just roll them up. And if you want to can them raw, you can stick them in like that. Or you can cook them and can them. So that's it for my chicken cutting. <laughs> and um, at the end of this, I'm once I get these six chickens cut, up all of them. I'm on number four now. I want to show you how much fat and skin there was that I took off these chickens. Alright, so there's everything in the pot. 
I'm going to put the lid on. When you're using your pressure canner as a cooker, you have to bring this up to 15 pounds of pressure and then it has to cook for 40 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so this is my chicken after I have pressure cooked it. And you can see it's got a nice broth in there. All the chicken is really, really cooked. And now I'm going to put it in the pan, let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to pull it, all the meat off the bone and strain out the broth. And then all the meat and broth will be ready to can. I'm going to show you how nice this meat is. It's literally just falling off the bone. And when I pick this, I'm going to save all the bones too. And that'll be a project for another day. <laughs> 